Hey guys, welcome to my new video. I have to say to date that this video will be the most important video I think I've ever made because of the new alignments that, and, that I have found and my new understanding that uh, these reoccurring patterns are definitely images of the planet's creation. And not only are they reoccurring images, but they're reoccurring images that tell a story of the planet's creation. And my proof and evidence for this is to simply align them up and show you how they match. And when they do match, you can see you can see the story with your own eyes. And I can't wait to show you. I'll just get through this little introduction here with the images and then um, I'm going to kind of reestablish what I said in the other videos so that we're all in sync. And if you're a new viewer, maybe you'll understand this video a little better. Um, four years ago, I noticed that the planet was covered with reoccurring patterns that all are related to this image right here. And then I had a breakthrough and realized that this ridge was basically uh, the image of its movement. Like, and then I called it a theme, a reoccurring theme. And in the last three videos, I showed you that this theme matched up around the planet. And I use these two areas here as an example, even though this does match other areas I've shown in many videos, all it matches everywhere around the planet. But my strongest piece of evidence would be this match right here because it's just so obvious when you put it together that a complicated image like this shouldn't have such a complicated match unless they're related. And I showed you how it hugged the coastline, this turbulence here, there's this spinning going on. And then I showed you that it matches even in further in here. And then I showed you that it matches again over here by Africa. And then I showed you that it's rotating through here also as it's spinning. So basically what I'm trying to show you is that the process of Earth's creation is embedded into the surface features as reoccurring patterns and themes. And, I ma and I'm proving it by matching them over and over again, which can't happen in plate tectonics. So while I was researching my next video, I started to notice something odd about the Southwest Indian Ridge and in North America. If you look at the Southwest Indian Ridge, when you go to the end of it, it where I'm claiming that the vortex is, I noticed that when I flipped it around like that, that it also matches North America. Right here, here, and here, and here. See, look at, as I bring it in, the point at the top see the similarities in the shape this notch that used to be here has another notch right here that also seems to fit as I bring it in this turbulence so let's take a closer look at this match and it gets even better so you gotta watch this video all the way through but the amazing thing is here if you look at North America you can see this darkened area in Canada and then you got the Great Lakes and stuff like that it's kinda of shaped like an arch if you look here you can see the same kind of arch and then of course what I'm claiming is a vortex and let me see if I let me bring this in you can see that right here is like a, a point and when I line the see as it's lining up as I'm coming closer together the V here you can also see Canada and these marks start to play in with the Great Lakes
as I bring it in further. See? Let me move it back and forth because it matches every way. Because you can see it matches the sw the kind of swivel here. I don't know what to call that, but it's like a little thing. You can see that when I bring it there, it matches and it starts to play into the features of Canada. But as I bring it in, see how it starts to match the turbulence inside of North America here. And then you start to see what lines up with the, the colorations of Canada and the Great Lakes. You can see that somehow these areas are related like that. Just as I move it up, look, you got that point. You can see that these are different layers of the same thing. I want to go over this mirroring image here. When I line this up, this is that vortex matching up with North America. It's hitting hitting those those two dots and then I'm claiming this is a mirror image of this side of North America. And you can see that it lines up and you can see that there's spinning going on here. And to prove the point that these are reoccurring images, this is now reversed the mirror to match North America again. Watch as I bring in Here's the vortex matching the point right here and then right there in the Gulf of Mexico. See? And then look at the, the, the crisscrossing patterns right here. This is spiraling it's spinning it's still matching the features underneath so North America is a combination of both of these what's trippy about this I hope I'm not moving too fast but if I move this over you can see this arch the two circles you can see the two circles right here these are the same two circles I matched up with India and the Himalaya Mountains, which I'll show you right now. See, I showed you those two dots right here match the tip of India because they're both images of the same vortex. And then I show you that those same two dots also match these two dots on the Himalaya Mountains right here. See, right there. They're all related. Look at the Look at the edge of uh, India. Okay, I want to show you something amazing. Okay, remember the two two dots here on the vortex? I show you that they line up with the Himalaya Mountains like that, right there. And then I take it and I rotate it. And it lines up again with the features right here right here see the but then I showed you that right here above Africa and the Red Sea this rotated the same way so you can see that the Red Sea is already lining up with the vortex when I bring it in not only does Africa match the arching and stuff that's going on here and the Red Sea matches that vortex but watch what happens when I match then these two together Let's zoom in this is pretty trippy I have to do this a couple times. Okay, you got the Red Sea matching. But look at the ocean right here, the sea next to the Himalaya Mountains. Let me zoom out again. So we're having these are reoccurring movements of the reoccurring theme.
look how it fits into there and you can see that India is making up, up it's almost as if India evolves into this feature right here you can see by the matching okay it's getting complicated let me try this again here's the vortex rotated you saw that I matched it up not rotated here I also match it up in here it's just a little bit more complicated but it does match up in here and then it rotates so let me get rid of that here's the rotated it's rotated right now look at the similarities you got the red you got this right here and you got the vortex and then you got this shape right here and you could see this shape right here see how they match this turbulence this is all a secondary ghost image of this process here and it matches so good you can see the vortex is it's moving you got the two dots right there I have a feeling that this is the Himalayas are made by the spinning and rotation of this vortex. Now see, look, see how it matches the, the features? It's moving through, it's actually spinning through, so it, it would match if I reverse it, but that's complicated to do and it'll take me forever to make this video. So you're just gonna have to see that it matches as I move it around, but it will also match reversed in the other areas where it doesn't match. And you can see that those two circles here, they're hard to see now. The ones that matched up there, they also are responsible for features around this area. But take a look at the similarities here as I move this around. See how this part right here keeps matching up? And then you got this area right here matching up there as this matches here so it's matching the rotation the features here are matching the rotation of this but then to top it off you got the 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 C's right here that look as if they're related to the spinning also and then you got the red C matching the vortex again look how, how it matches over and over again but it even matches down here with the curvature that matched over here see let me go from one to the other see then what I'm saying is then I, I'll do what I did with the last video is I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna superimpose these two on top of each other and see what happens and you can see the matching let me take the color out okay like that and then let's get rid of this some more and now you can see the features are playing into one another three ways this is a three-way match again that like I did in the other video see how it matches right there Look at the, the curvature here of Africa. Looks very similar to the curvature right there because they're related. That's this is a point of spinning, and it's and it looks like it might line up with the eye of the Sahara again. See? Italy also matches up in this sea here too. You can see that they're related. Look at the tip of India. So move it down there it matches again. This is moving around. But look at the red seat. Let me dim this out. This is really hard for me to show. I hope you guys can see it. Hold on. Okay, so see how the red sea lines up with this feature here by the Himalaya Mountains. 
and then you got that V again matching the C here. So you got the Africa right here matching this feature here and this V. And then the Red Sea matches this area right here. And what's trippy is this C also starting to match. Well, I already knew that the, okay, just like just like I'm claiming that these are different layers of the same process being pulled apart, the gouging is also different layers of the same opening being pulled apart. So if you were to line all these gouges up, this would be three times deeper because they're part of an opening at the South Pole. But they've been pulled away as the Earth increases in size, just like the other layers. You can even kind of see that the features here just look similar all around. You got this line, this line, you got two lines here. You could just tell that somehow this is all related to this vortex rotating and spinning. These are gouges. This vortex has, I'm, I'm guessing, has gouged a tunnel at the South Pole. And then the turbulence around this this vortex is what creates the continents and the land features and surface features all around the planet. You can almost see that this this image looks a lot like this area that's been blown out over here. It's got points on both ends. This has points on both ends and they're the same distance. They have to be related. like that see here's this look they're the same length they got points on both ends and they match up these images on our planet's surface reveal what happened you can see this blew out as it's rotating look look how it matches it's the same size same points twisting is happening here and then you got the image of the vortex twisting vortex right here so I bet you're wondering how the hell could I tie Hawaii into this these two features look nothing alike but they're everything alike when you line them up and you notice that the Hawaiian island chain the islands land on the areas where these lines are cutting across this other line ridge these lines are the hot spots in my opinion where Birkeland currents are twisting around one another and compressing against each other where they touch same distance same length and even rotates rotates see like that look at the match between this as it rotates out See, look, see how it matches? Look, the line right here. What are the odds? The truth about Hawaii right there. Okay, with that, I want to move back to, to North America because I want to tie these together. I want to show you that, that this movement of this... Um, vortex is the same 
next to North America as it is with this area that just blew out that I just showed you and the alignments are overwhelming and so is making this videos overwhelming for me right now so just please bear with me